Okay, so question four of paper two, 2018, grade 12. Okay, so the question reads, in the diagram, a circle having the center, the origin, passes through P for negative six. PO is the diameter of a smaller circle having center at M. The diameter RS of the larger circle is a tangent to the smaller circle at O. Yeah, the first question is 4.1. Calculate the coordinates of M, which is over here. Now, with that being said, before you start anything, go look what they give us. So first thing they gave us, the circle with a center that, like at the origin, which means like one coordinate is zero, zero, and like, yeah, that's the center coordinate, passes through P, like four negative six. So that's going to be a point on the circle, which they give here. So like it passes through there. Okay, then other thing they gave us, PO is the diameter of a smaller circle having its center at M. So M is going to be the midpoint like of that line. Then RS is a tangent to the smaller circle at O. Okay, so question 4.1, calculate the coordinates of M. So like we said, it is here and as we heard, like, where is it? Okay. PO is the diameter of a smaller circle having a center at M. So M is the center, and the center also means like that's the radius, um, like that's the radius and that's diameter. But we can use for this line the midpoint formula. So we have that point over there, which we said is zero, zero. Okay, so we have two points and we can find the midpoint of it. So question 4.1 should be fairly easy. Um, with that being said, please check on your information sheet at the back. There are a lot of analytical geometry um, um, formulas that they give you. So please note what like they give you and what you need to go study. Okay, like here's... Um, the equation of a circle, the midpoint formula, the gradient, like distance, straight line. Okay, so please, yeah, go check it. Okay, so we're gonna use a straightforward midpoint formula. We're gonna substitute in the two co like the two coordinates we already have. And please note in this formula, this side is the x coordinate and that side is the y coordinate. So you don't have to go like substitute it into something else again. Just leave it as is. So when we um, substitute in, we're going to find the first x is going to be 0 and the first y is going to be 0. Then for negative 6, please don't make a sign mistake over there because yeah, it's going to mess up your whole thing. So substitute in as is. So y is negative 6. So 0 plus negative 6, which would make it 0, negative 6. And then at the end, we're going to get the midpoint. And m is going to be 2, negative 3. 